Hello, this is Jen Wood and welcome to another Wellbeing Wednesday. And today I would like to introduce you to a, a practice that I really find helpful in stressful times, during stressful times. Um, and it's called Jin Sinjitsu Finger Holds. And Jin Sinjitsu is a, a Japanese therapy and the, um, it comes from the Meridian system. Some of you might know me from the yard in Edinburgh and the first thing that I trained in about 25 years ago was Shiatsu and Shiatsu is a type of massage which comes from acupressure, from the Meridian system that acupuncturists also use. Some of you might have had acupuncture before for, you know, kind of very various things. And it it has its um, roots in traditional Chinese medicine or oriental medicine. And shiatsu particularly is something Japanese. And um, and I'm really missing working hands on. And um, some of you might have had massage from me before. So um, I love using the, these finger holds that come from Jin Sinjitsu because they're really simple. They are, um, you can do them anywhere. It isn't obvious what you're doing. I, I think some of you may have um, participated in the tapping sessions that I've done and I will be doing more tapping sessions. But tapping is quite obvious and so if we want to um, soothe ourselves in public and not want anybody to know what we're doing, this can be a really useful alternative. Now there is actually also a method of tapping that uses the, the fingers and I will introduce you to that another week. But today we're going to talk about the finger holds from Jin Sin Jitsu and there is a, a, a diagram, a worksheet that goes with this, um, this video as well. So you won't have to remember this or write it down, but you could, you could practice it along with me today. And when we think about the meridians, for those of you who, who know about that, um, there are energy pathways, as um, is taught in traditional Chinese medicine, energy pathways that go through the body and many of them begin and end in the fingers, at the ends of the fingers. And if you don't believe in any of this stuff, that is also okay. It doesn't matter at all. Because just connecting with our bodies and connecting with our hands is enough. So what we want to be able to do is have both hands free, if you'd like to practice it with me just now. And starting off with the thumb, all you need to do is just gently take your opposite hand and cradle the thumb just like that cradle the thumb and the thumb is associated with worry and calming worry so if you feel worried just gently cradling the thumb feeling your feet feeling your seat feeling your posture and just taking three nice slow breaths and holding the thumb and you might want to say to yourself I bring I breathe in peace I breathe out worry you can use all the creative tools that you want to but the thumb is associated with soothing worry and then we've got the um, the, 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 the index finger and the index finger is fear so to calm fear holding the index finger. Again, you can do that quite subtly just um, with your hands on your lap. I'm just doing this here to show you. And you can do the same. You can breathe in and out three times. Breathing in calm, peace, breathing out fear. Just feeling your whole body slowing down. And the middle finger that's for anger. So just holding the middle finger 
and gently, soothingly holding that middle finger and imagine that you're breathing in whatever you want to feel instead of anger, just breathe that in and breathe out that red mist of anger and just allow your focus to come to your finger, slowing things down, accessing that part of your brain that we call the wise mind. It helps you take a different perspective, reconnect with yourself. And now the ring finger and it doesn't matter what hand, you can swap hands. The ring finger is associated with soothing grief or loss. So you can just tune into that feeling, feel the finger and imagine yourself soothing that feeling of grief, of loss. Breathing in whatever you like to feel instead and breathing out and releasing that difficult emotion. And the last one, the pinky, the little finger, just gently cradling the pinky. And the pinky is about soothing and calming that pressure we put on ourselves, that trying to, that the, the, the pretense that we sometimes feel like we need to show in the world to be okay striving, efforting, pushing ourselves until we feel almost burnt out. So just tuning in, holding that pinky, feeling everything start to slow down, feeling your whole body settling, letting go of the need to try too hard, and just remind yourself that you are enough. You're always enough. So that is Jinsen Jitsu, the finger holds. And I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that helpful. And I look forward to seeing you next week for another Wellbeing Wednesday.